major medical breakthrough. Stunning procedure that saved an infant named KJ offers hope for so many others. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Kenny Rule, is back. What a story this is. This is incredible. All right, this is incredible. Uh, wearing orange masks and uh, wow. I really honestly feel so sorry for this baby. This is a medical breakthrough, right? Um, I just had to share this with you. I know we all know a lot about, you know, CRISPR. Yeah, who's talking about CRISPR, right? Or gene editing, nobody other than Bill Gates, you know, how he says we could go in and fix those mistakes. No, no, Bill, God does not make mistakes, period. All right, but you guys have to listen. Please listen carefully and look at her facial expression when right at the beginning. But listen to all the numbers they use. And I'm going to share what I noticed after re-listening to this and just jotting down numbers. Take a listen. When KJ was a week old, he was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder that affects just one in 1.3 million babies. One in 1.3 million babies, often with a life-threatening outcome. Thanks to highly personalized genetic treatment, KJ and his doctors have blazed a new trail that could help so many. This morning, a groundbreaking gene editing therapy that's given nine-month-old KJ Muldoon a second shot at life. It's all been a miracle. That's the only way to describe it. Just days after he was born, KJ was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called CPS1 deficiency, which causes ammonia to build up in the blood and can lead to brain injury. Unfortunately, about 50% of babies pass away from this disease in the first week of life. The standard of care for the disorder is a liver transplant, but KJ's doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia had another idea. They could try to correct the error in his DNA that was causing his disease. I have this like profound feeling that like this is going to be the thing that helps, you know, change his life. KJ's doctors working in collaboration with researchers and clinicians to create a personalized treatment for him using what's called CRISPR or base editor technology. The first time it's ever been used in a child. And when these particles are put into the bloodstream and the liver cells take up these particles and now they have the instructions to make the base editor and once they've made that base editor inside the cells it knows where to go and it fixes it. KJ received his first infusion in February just over six months after his diagnosis. By the next day he was up laughing looking around playing with his toys like nothing ever happened. KJ's doctors say he has been successfully treated after three infusions of the therapy, hitting his milestones, growing and thriving. They were huge Eagle fans. And um, the day he was born, I ordered a Jalen Hurts jersey and I just didn't know if he was ever going to wear it. Just to see him do these things that we never thought they were possible have been inspiring. Estimates show there are more than 7,000 rare diseases affecting 30 million people in the U.S. A similar approach with technology like this could treat hundreds of thousands of genetic diseases like sickle cell, cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and muscular dystrophy. Yeah, there's just so much potential here. Now, of course, they're going to make everything sound so amazing because the moment they say that something is wrong with any child born, they're going to say, yes, go along, let's go and get this CRISPR, right? But did you notice all the numbers and all the things they were talking about? KJ <laughs> equals 33. Oh, one week, one in 1.3. Ah, A113, right? Exactly the same. Look, you can look at all those numbers, liver equaling 66 and 33, or the fact that they, right at the end, used 7,000 rare diseases and 30 million. 73, the IMERP with the 37, the star number. Those were just what I noticed. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly, first of all, feel so sorry for this baby. So sorry. If this is even true, I don't know. All I can say is that they love using their numbers, signs, symbols, and everything else. I just had to share after I just noticed the first number and started looking at all the rest of what they had to say. Look, I'm just saying it's a big show by the Masons, and they love lying, lying, lying through their teeth. That's what they do best. Because it's a big show, we all know it, we see it. I wouldn't trust anybody, or especially those that are on TV. 
just amazing. I mean, but pray for pray for those all around you that they don't fall for all of the deception and accepting the fantastic new technology of the CRISPR gene editing. Boy, wow. All right, just had to share. Till next time.